hello guys welcome back and in this video tutorial what we are going to do is to retrieve and display the total number of posts here okay that is let's say in this case Muhammad Ali is an online user and he has uploaded these four pictures so here four will be I mean we have to retrieve that total number and display that here that is let's say four in this case and the second thing which you will be doing is that to allow user to save any picture that is let's say uh, Tony has uploaded this picture okay so Muhammad Ali if Muhammad Ali wants to save this picture then he will just click on the save icon so let's just do that so first of all in order to display the total number of posts you have to go to the profile fragment and here let's just go to the bottom let's create a separate function we can give it name private fun and let's give it name as get total number of posts sorry okay get total number of posts this is our function now in here first of all let's create a reference to our post node which contain all our posts so we can just say create a variable by name post reference and then we can say firebase.getInstantReference.childPost okay and then the second thing is we can add a value event listener for that since we will be retrieving so we can say uh, post reference dot sorry add value event listener object colon value event listener make sure to put two curly braces and then in here we have uh, we have two built-in function which is the on data change okay make sure to remove the comment and the second one is the on cancel remove the to do comment and then inside this on data change we can say that if let's give this name as a data snapshot okay which is of type data snapshot and basically this represents our post node so we can say if post node exists which means that we can write here that is if data snapshot dot exists then what we gonna do we are going to say that first let's create a variable by the name post counter and let's initialize it with zero okay and then by using for loop we can say that if uh, sorry snapshot in data snapshot dot children and now inside our post note what we are going to do we are going to add a if condition and we have to check if the online user id matches with this publisher id then it means that this post belongs to an online user and we have to check all of these child and then we will increment our this post counter variable so for that here we have to say that if by the way first of all we can say well I mean our post model class has the getter and setter so we can say snapshot dot get value I mean first we have to get the value by using our post model class so class dot java okay so we can say if post dot get publisher becomes equals to the profile id which is an online user id if this is equals to the profile id make sure to add this check here okay this double exclamation i mean this double exclamation marks so if this is equals to the profile id we have to just increment our post counter variable so you can say post counter plus plus i mean this increment okay so then we have to display this on our text view so for that we have to go to the ids and we have to check that what is the id for that profile and then if we zoom a little bit i mean i just want to click on this so that we can move to it okay this is with our text view and the id for this is total post so just copy this id come here and then pass that here make sure to import this by pressing alt enter okay and then we can say dot text equals to let's give some space first and then we can by using this concatenation sign we can display our post counter on it so that's it and now let's just uh, test our application let's just run it so the app is running now and let's just 
let's see how it works so let's just go to the first and it is not oh sorry i mean we just forgot to call our this function here i mean here you can see it it, it has not we have not called this function above here at the top in our own create sorry about that okay so let's just call it after this we can say get what is the function name get total number of posts okay and now let's just run it again sorry for that so the app is running now let's just go to the profile and here you can see it okay total number of posts is four one two three four so yeah that's it now the next thing which we will doing which we are going to do in this tutorial is to allow user to save any picture from the timeline okay to his saved pictures when user click on it and we will display it but for this video we are going to enable this button and to save that save pictures in the database so come here and here we have to go to our since this is our post adopter so for that we have to go to our adopter module and here we have our post adopter close this profile fragment xml file and just come down here here we have our button first let me show it to you this is our save button so how to add an action on it i mean an event on it we have to go to our own bind yeah here after this we can say that holder dot save button if a user click on it then what we're gonna do we can say set on click listener and then in here if a user click on it what we're gonna do we want to save that specific post or picture so you do not give extra space here okay so we, have, we want to save this inside the database and we will create a separate node for that which will be by the name saves okay so let's just create a reference to our database quickly just for the time saving i'm going to copy this thing from here come back to the post adopter and then in here we can save our best database get instance reference child and the child will be our saves node a new node that we will create now and under that parent node we will save all the save pictures which will be saved by different users so we can say dot child saves dot child i mean by using the specific user id so firebase user dot uid then dot child post i mean we have to save that post id alongside i mean under the online user id that is how much post have been saved by this user okay so you can say post dot get post id and you can say that set value to true let's just give it some proper shape so that we can understand it easily okay so one thing which is we need to think here is that let's say a user save one picture for the first time let's say i just click on this picture okay it will be saved into database and it will i mean uh, the thing is that how uh, if for the second time let's say if a user click again on this button then what we will do in that case let's say i for the first time i click it it's saved and then for the second time if i want to click it then it will delete that self picture from my saved picture okay just like we do for the likes if we click it again then the light is gone okay if we click it then it is light okay just like this so for that we have we will be using two icons you can see here now it is empty which means that if a user click here then first i mean we have to maintain the user interface so that the user can know that the picture is now saved or it is not saved so if the icon is like this then it means that the user uh, now the user if want if the user want to save it then he can save it or she can save it okay but if it is already clicked then we will display another icon which will be the same icon but it will be filled now let me tell you we have that icon in our driver folder and let just write the code for it then i will you will see it i mean i will show it to you guys okay don't worry about that so for that what we need to do is to maintain the ui and also that thing so we have to create a separate function let us just go to the bottom and we can create that function by the name let's say i mean check saved status so this method in this method we will write the code that will check the 
status of an image that is if it is saved already or if it is not saved okay on the basis of which we can display the icon and also if uh, i mean to remove it back if a user has already saved any picture so it will uh, receive two parameters the first one it will have is the post id which will be of string type and the second one we will have an image view which will be of image view type we will pass these two parameters to it when we call this method okay so the second thing we need to create a reference here so let's just copy this reference here or if you want you can also initialize it globally i mean in the one above but i will just copy it come back here and let's first say this is our saves reference equals to firebase database get instance or child self firebase user dot uid we need that up to here okay sorry just remove these two things from here now the next thing is since we are storing it using this uh, reference which is our selves okay if a user click on the self button so we are now using the same reference we are going to retrieve the status for uh, each and every image for an online user so we can say self reference dot add value and listener object colon value event listener then we have two functions which is on data change the second one is our own cancelled now inside our own data change you can say that if data snapshot i mean this po dot exist or we are checking for the specific post so we have to pass the child post id dot exist so if this post exists under the id inside our save node then what we're going to do in that case in that case we have to now this basically means that the image is already stored inside the database for this specific user which is an online user basically so we have to update the resource for that so the user can know that i have already saved this specific picture so we can say set image resource or dot we are now basically changing the icon or dot driver dot we have an icon by the name save large icon this one okay which you can see here this icon which is a field icon and after that uh, also we have to say that image view dot tag equals to saved we are uh, updating the tag of our this image view which we will use above okay oh sorry remove this double equals so it means that the image is already saved now in the else statement else means that the image is not saved yet so that you if the user want the user can save the image so for that we will display our unfilled icon which is in the drawable folder by the name save unfilled large icon which is this one okay a default icon which is already displaying on the timeline okay and then we have to update the tag for this to save now on the basis of these two tags here we can perform the operation so let's just come here and here it is here first we have to check the tag so cut this code control x okay now we have to add a condition first here if now before uh, writing this condition let me just call that method okay because this is you have to understand this let's just call that method which is by the name check save status and it needs two parameters which i already told you that i mean which we are already passing to that the first one is the post id so in order to pass uh, pass that we have to say post dot get post id comma and the second one is our image view which is our uh, save button so we can say that holder dot sorry holder dot save button okay this is in our image view button basically which you can check here also where we define it save button you know, is of image view and that image view are basically we are passing to our method to our, this function okay the first parameter is the post id and the second one is our image view and we are setting the text for it here 
so by using that save button which is our image view so we can say here that is if holder dot save button dot tag become equals to save it means that the user can save the picture the picture has not already saved and else which means the picture is already saved so here we will write a code for the removal of that uh, that specific saved picture okay if user click the button you will understand it more easily when we run the application okay that is I have explained the code but when you see the testing of the application at the end of this video then you will more I mean more easily you will understand everything when you then compare the output with this code okay so if holder sorry I mean here we have to paste our code which we earlier cut it okay which is where where's database get instance for storing the uh, that save image and then just cut and paste that here I mean copy and paste that here also inside this else and in the else we have to remove it so post start get post ID and then you can say remove value that's it let's just run the application everything is okay now and alongside with that also let's just check the database also so the app is running now successfully okay now I'm going to now let me tell you a user can also save his own pictures too and also a user an online user can save his uh, pictures from his friends that is let's say from Tony okay so if I click here here you can see save node is created okay and if we expand this node now this is the user online user ID that is this person has saved only one picture now and the ID of that post is this one if I show you then R7 is an online user which is Muhammad Ali here you can compare the ID okay and this is the post ID which is LZ1S if I show you inside this then this is LZ1S LZ1S which is this post okay which has a description uh, Leo okay if I show you then here you can see it. the description is Leo so this picture is saved here now what I mean if we save another one let me just show you let's just save another picture from Parker here you can see it okay another post has been saved under the online user ID which is this one so now it means that this online user I mean this person this person has saved two pictures which are these two and also if a user click back this okay then here you can see it got deleted the same is for the here if the user click this now it means now you here one thing you need to notice is that this picture is not saved so it is an unfilled icon okay and here you can see this one is saved so that's why it gets filled if you click here then here you can see it got deleted now let's just click it again so that uh, this post this specific post has been saved to the ID of I mean to this person's profile now in the next video tutorial what we will be doing is that we will retrieve and display all the save pictures and we will display here if a user click on the save icon then we will display the saved picture just like we display the uploaded pictures okay so yeah, that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now